Today, justice has been served. Today, we prove that no one is above the law. New York Attorney General Letitia James welcomed a judge's ruling Friday night, ordering former U.S. President Donald Trump to pay $354.9 million in penalties for fraudulently overstating his net worth to Duke lenders. For years, Donald Trump engaged in deceptive business practices and tremendous fraud. Donald Trump falsely, knowingly, inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to unjustly enrich himself, his family, and to cheat the system. After a contentious three-month trial in Manhattan, Justice Arthur Engeron banned Trump, who is running to regain the presidency this year, from serving as an officer or director of any New York corporation for three years. The judge also ordered Trump's adult sons, Don Jr. and Eric, to pay $4 million apiece while barring them from helming New York companies for a shorter period. Trump's lawyer vowed to appeal. I just want to say this. You build a great company. There was no fraud. The banks all got their money, 100%. This is a New York case, so this order justifies to New York. Trump and his family members, they can still conduct business in Florida, other states, even other countries. Federal prosecutor Nima Ramani. This is going to be a significant hit to Donald Trump's pocket. It's rare for the attorney general to go after someone, but Trump is no ordinary defendant. This is someone that has thumbed his nose at our civil and criminal justice system. And it's really his antics in the courtroom that caused Judge Angeron to slam him and fine him so much. Meanwhile, Trump is under indictment in four criminal cases, including two cases about efforts to subvert his 2020 election defeat and one in New York related to hush money payments he made to an adult film star. The judge overseeing that case on Thursday set a March 25th trial date. Trump has pleaded not guilty in all four cases.